<coughs> a very good morning students in this lecture today we will discuss about an important topic that is multi enzyme complex and we shall discuss with an example of fatty acid synthase system multi enzyme complex so when different enzyme catalyzing sites are located in the same macromolecule that are associated non covalently it is called a multi enzyme complex this means that a single macromolecule or a large molecule has different active sites and it can catalyze different kinds of reactions so the example of multi enzyme complex systems are the fatty acid synthase system the pyruvate dehydrogenase system and the prostaglandin synthase system these are some of the examples advantages of multi enzyme complexes now what are the advantages of a multi enzyme system the organization of different enzymes into a single complex has certain catalytic advantages so when different enzymes are present in one macromolecule it has certain catalytic advantages let us look at them the entire complex is coded by a single gene so all the different activities are coded by a single gene the synthesis of all enzymes in the complex are coordinated compartmentalization is of a of the pathway is achieved the product of one reaction is directly delivered to the next enzyme unwanted side reactions are eliminated all the reactions can be regulated as a unit so these are some of the advantages of a multi enzyme complex fatty acid synthase complex so this is the example of multi enzyme complex which we are going to discuss this system the fatty acid synthase system is a multi enzyme complex it is a homodimer which means it is made up of two monomeric units which are exactly identical so homo means same and dimer means two so the enzymes form a dimer with identical subunits each subunit of a complex is organized into three domains and there are seven enzymes in it they also have one uh, derivative of vitamin b5 that is phosphopantothene so the multi enzyme complex enhances the efficiency of the process because the intermediates can easily interact with the active sites of the enzyme which are present in the single unit now this is a fatty acid synthase complex as i told you it is made up of two subunits so the blue one is one subunit and the white one is a second subunit now this subunit is divided into two parts this is a first subunit this is a subunit division green line and the upper subunit begins with the head and ends with the tail whereas the lower subunit has anti parallel arrangement which means the lower subunit begins with the tail and ends with the head so for subunit 1 this is the head and this is the tail whereas for subunit 2 the tail is in the opposite direction and so is the head so this is called an anti parallel arrangement now this is the functional division so one monomer part acts in conjunction with the the head part of one monomer acts with the tail part of the second enzyme and this is how 
it acts like one enzyme although they are two different monomers so this is how they act as one enzyme complex so each subunit synthesizes one fatty acid molecule so this is the functional division and this is the subunit division so this is the uh, working uh, component of fatty acid acid synthase complex these are the two functional units of the enzyme of the dimeric enzyme and both these are synthesizing one fatty acid molecule each so let us see what are the domains and enzymes present in the fatty acid synthase system so the first domain that is present in the fatty acid synthase system is known as the condensing unit so these are the two condensing units followed by the second domain which is known as the reduction unit and this is also present in both the monomers and the third domain is known as the releasing unit which is present in the fatty acid synthase complex now the enzymes that are present in the condensing unit are ketoacyl synthase acetyl transacylase malonyl transacylase as you can see the abbreviations are written ketoacyl synthase ks acetyl transacylase at malonyl transacylase mt in the second domain three more enzymes are present that is dehydratase dh enoyl reductase er ketoacyl reductase kr and there is one phosphopantothene molecule which acts as a carrier molecule it does not have any enzyme activity uh, and in the third domain the last and the seventh enzyme that is present is known as the thioesterase which is abbreviated as t so these abbreviations will help us to form a mnemonic and that will make it easy for all of you to remember the names of the enzyme so let us see what is the mnemonic as you can see that in purple i have highlighted so k a m calm d e the k a t cat so calm the cat this is the mnemonic to remember the seven enzymes or and one cofactor that is phosphopantothene so k stands for ketoacyl synthase a stands for acetyl transacylase m stands for malonyl transacylase so k a m calm d e the stands for hydratase and e stands for enoyl reductase k again stands for ketoacyl reductase a of the acp and t of thioesterase so k a t this is the way to remember it now the fatty acid synthase complex is found in liver adipose tissue and in mammary glands during lactation period the activity of these this enzyme is highest in these organs the enzyme catalyzing the de novo synthesis of fatty acids so this enzyme catalyzes the de novo synthesis of fatty acids the enzyme complex carries out chain elongation process by adding two carbons in each cycle so the role of fatty acid synthase complex is to elongate the chain by adding two carbons in each cycle the starting material is uh, or the first reaction of the synthesis is uh, carried by a different enzyme and uh, that does not belong to the fatty acid synthase complex that we can see in another lecture so to in order to begin the fatty acid synthesis the molecules that we need are acetyl coa carbon dioxide and nadph the sources of two carbon compounds are malonyl coa so at the end of uh, 
Each cycle, two carbon compounds are added, and the chain elongates by two carbons. And the source for of those two carbons is malonyl CoA. The site of action or the site where the synthesis takes place is the cytoplasm. So the following steps are uh, occurring cyclically for fatty acid synthesis. First is condensation. Second is reduction. Third is dehydration. And the fourth step is saturation. So these are the four steps that go on repeating till the length of fatty acid chain is achieved. So if we are taking a palmitic acid which is a 16 carbon length saturated fatty acid, these four reactions are repeated a total of seven times cyclically till the 16 carbon palmitic acid is formed. Thank you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.